Hey guys, so I thought it would be super fun to do the furry friends tag. Um, I have not seen anyone do a tag like this in so long. It's super old school, old school YouTube. Um, but I have a dog on my lap right now who really wants some attention. So I thought this would be perfect. Um, my furry friend is a hamster. Uh, her name is Stella and she is my little best friend. She is so cute um, But I don't have a lot to share about her because she's a hamster and <laughs> um, I, I, There's just not a lot to say <laughs> um, So we're gonna talk about Fiona and Fiona. Yeah, I'm talking about you. Yeah She is on my lap right now because I have a heated blanket and she loves heated blankets. So she is very excited to be here and she knows I'm talking about her. <laughs> so I'm gonna try to make her come up here to say hi. Come here. <gasps> oh, come here. You're on camera. But it's on the other side. Look. Oh. There, look at the camera. She's so camera shy. I literally don't have a single good picture of her. So this is her, this is Fiona. She's our old lady poodle. And if you listen closely, you can hear her grunting. <laughs> oh, feepers. What? You don't like it? As you can see, her hair is quite voluptuous. She really just is so lazy. She just wants to like hang out and sleep all day long. She can't even see right now because her hair is so long. Sometimes we put it in a little top knot, but she doesn't really like a top knot that much. Oh, Fifi. Fiona. Hmm. Oh, Fiona. Fiona, why Nona? Oh, okay. So my mom named her Fiona. I'm not really sure what the like reasoning for Fiona was. I think she got it from Shrek. Um, but my mom liked the name Fiona and her original name was actually Gorda. Before she was adopted, that is what her old family called her. I'm not sure why she was placed for adoption, but I'm guessing that her old family was a Spanish speaking family because Gorda is a Spanish name. And well, it's not a name, <laughs> um, but they called her Gorda. And when we first got her, she didn't understand anything that we were saying. Like she was not responding to anything. So I don't think that she um, was from an English speaking family. And now when we call her and when we tell her to sit and things like that, she does it. But for the longest time, she didn't respond to anything we said in English. So she is a poodle. I think she's just like a regular toy poodle. Uh, we did rescue her from a senior citizen adoption. Uh, I think it was like an online a senior citizen adoption clinic, but my mom really loves old dogs. And uh, my old dog passed away um, when she was like around 14 or 15 years old. So she was definitely an old lady dog and she just laid around the house, was so lazy. Um, she was a a uh, pug named Zoe. She was my my dog. I got to pick her out um, when I was a kid. And so when she passed away, everyone was really heartbroken. Um, and we got Fiona. And my mom wanted to make sure she didn't have to do the whole puppy thing again. And my mom loves having just like an old lady dog who's just boring and lays around and does nothing and isn't high maintenance. And that is definitely what this poodle is. We have had Fiona for like three years now, two or three years, um, but I believe she's like 15 or 16 years old. Um, she's kind of an old lady. <laughs> I don't know if I really have a favorite memory of Fiona. She is the most needy animal in the whole wide world. My mom wanted this like old lady dog that would just like lay around and do nothing. Just like some animal to like be around the house that was just like there <laughs> um, just to be company. But she is so much company. Like she wants to be on your lap. She wants to be touching you at all times. And the second you stop touching her, she'll start pawing at you until you play with her again. Um, she wants to be petted. She loves heated blankets. Um, um, she loves just like cuddling in general. The second she sees someone sit down, she is so excited. She'll like rush over to you and sit on your lap and sit on your side. Um, she's definitely a lap dog and she loves everyone and everyone and wants to be pet and touched at all times. She like cannot get close enough. It's so funny because you'll be like laying down with her and she'll be like crawling up your neck and like scratching at your face and just like want to get closer. And you're like, you're literally like, so close, <laughs> like you can't get any closer. 
she does this weird like grunting noise like <laughs> um, it kind of reminds me of like a cat's uh, purring I don't know if that's normal for dogs to like purr um, but she does it when she's happy it's not angry she does it when she's like being pet and when she's having a good time so that's a really weird thing that she does I love how cuddly she is my pug was so amazing i loved her i was so upset when we had to put her down but she definitely was not like a lap dog she did not want to be cuddled she wanted to be pet but she didn't want to like cuddle with you fiona wants to be by me 24 7 she wants to sleep with me she wants to be in my bed she wants to share my pillow um so it's really nice to have someone who like loves you and um i definitely like that she's more affectionate i think it's very sweet and i think that she is just like a perfect little companion my husband isn't super fond of Fiona. He likes dogs in general, but she's just not very playful. He loves to like play with them and run outside with them and go camping with them, but she is not about to do any of that. <laughs> um, and so whenever she wants his attention, if he's like laying in bed or chilling on the couch or something, she'll like run up and try to play with him and like be right by his side. And he like will just kind of like push her away. <laughs> he's not mean to her, but um, he doesn't like hanging out with her. And it is so funny to see him with her because everyone else will just like smother her up but she is like determined to be with him like the fact that he doesn't want her makes her want him more and she'll like inch closer and closer and closer and like when he sees her enter her room he'll like look at her and she'll look at him and then she'll just like slowly creep in as if he won't notice if she goes slowly and he'll just like sneakily be next to him and it is so funny to watch her try like with all her might to be his friend <laughs> So her name is Fiona, um, but she gets called a lot of different nicknames. Um, we call her Fiona, Fiona Winona. We call her Fifi. I call her Fifers a lot. And my little brother Devin always calls her Fiona, <laughs> which is really weird. But he's always like, hi, Fiona. Her hair right now is so long. It's like this like afro. Um, she is a poodle, so it grows pretty long. Um, but whenever we get it groomed, we cut it really, really short so that we can go longer times in between getting her groomed. And she is a whole new animal when she gets groomed. She gets like her hair all poofed up and her like regular hair is really short and skinny. And she like will walk in the room and like prance around. Like she knows that she got her hair done and she knows she's fabulous. It is the funniest thing to see her after she gets groomed. She hates getting groomed the second you take her to like the pet parlor like you walk up to the door and she is like trying to stop she's like trying to run the other way like we haven't even entered the room yet and she knows where we're going and she hates it but when we get home she's like prancing and like she's sassy and she's like a whole new animal it is so funny she really wants to be by me. She really wants to sit on my lap and cuddle, but she does not want me to pick her up and she does not want to be on camera. <laughs> so when we get her groomed in the winter time, her hair is really short. So she gets cold when she goes outside or laying around the house, she gets chilly because we have hardwood floors. So we put sweaters on her and she looks so cute in her little doggy sweaters. But if you let her go outside with a dog sweater, she will roll around in all the poop and she will get that poop all over her sweater. And it is so funny because she never does that when she doesn't have a sweater on. And when you put her sweater on, she's fine with it. Like wearing it around the house, she doesn't mind. She seems to like it in fact because she is in, she's cold and she doesn't try to take it off or anything. But if she goes outside in a sweater, she's gonna cover that sweater and shit. So now we just don't put sweaters on her and we hope that she stays warm because she does bad things in sweaters. <laughs> She is obsessed with my hamster, like obsessed. If she hears her on her little wheel, if she's in her little ball running around the house, if I am cleaning her cage and so I put her in like a different room, Fiona will sit there and cry and scratch at the door and she just wants more than anything to play with my hamster. And then if you put the cage close enough to her that she can actually see into her cage, she will lick her lips. And it makes me so mad because at first I thought that they just wanted to be friends, but no, Fiona definitely wants to eat my hamster and that would just be devastating so this is her laying on my lap she will literally be here for hours she loves heated blankets this is a heated blanket I have an entire day of filming planned and she's probably gonna be sitting on my lap the entire day <laughs> oh hi baby you come hang out with me? 
Fiona. Fiona. She just has to be around somebody at all times. So she loves when I'm home from work because she can come and snuggle up next to me. Huh, baby? You love me. Yeah. Aww. You're so cute. Hi, baby. You're just living your best life. Lounging around the house, doing nothing all day, every day.